What's good? What's poppin', man? This is Heavy. Today, I got a subscriber request from Mitchell Joseph. So, Mitchell says, what's good, Heavy? I just came across your channel from Von Two Cuts comments. Great to see more guys like you spreading this knowledge. I've been going through crazy spiritual changes over quarantine, and I see this world way different now. Masks, lockdowns, control, frequency, etc. Questions. What does it mean that the 5D is going to merge with the 3D? And that we become light beings? What does this mean? And how do you know this? And what about 4D? Why does that get skipped? I understand that this 3D reality is a projection and not the real reality, but I can't comprehend what 4D or 5D would even be like. I feel like 4D is how our dreams are. Kind of like a 3D world with no time or space limitations. And 5D is supposed to be pure light frequency or something. I don't know, bro. I'm trying to understand this shit, but I've been meditating and really just feeling within and trying to figure it out maybe we could chop it up one day keep doing what you're doing bro also i'm white and cuban so don't really have that much melanin especially in winter so sometimes i'll be wondering do i even have a soul ha 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 <laughs> shit crazy but i know i'm some type of spiritual being mitch okay mitch so the best way i could try to get you to understand this is to explain to you what 3d 4d and 5d reality is now 3D reality. A 3D reality is you believe nothing more that you can see with you. Nothing more that you can perceive with your five senses. You know what I'm saying? You don't believe nothing more than that, right? Like, if you're religious, religion is 3D spirituality. Because, <laughs> like, Christians and, and Christians truly believe that heaven is in the sky. Like, think about how vast and infinite the universe is just so big that we can't really comprehend how big it truly is i think it might be impossible to comprehend how truly big the universe is i, th I think it's infinite but we truly believe that we're like succumbing to this small fraction this very very like 0.0001 percent of the universe and we truly believe that we, we just exist out of nowhere one time and then no matter what circumstance we're born, in, we're born in, what happens within our lives to make us the way we are, if we don't accept whoever into our life, we're not saved. And no matter what we do, if we don't accept them, we're not saved. And then we're going to go either to heaven in the clouds or to hell underneath the ground. That's a 3D perspective. You feel me? Now, the fourth dimension how can I explain the fourth dimension? The fourth dimension is... You were kind of right. You When you said the fourth dimension is kind of like a dream state, kind of like the astral realm. The fourth, the fourth dimension is the astral realm. And we didn't skip the fourth dimension because the fourth dimension is already right here. It's already right here. That's... I believe when you go... When, when you go, you either... Get stuck into the astral realm, aka the fourth dimension, or you ascend to the fifth dimension. You feel me? But like, why do you think we see ghosts? You know what I mean? Like, ghosts are very real. Why do you think we see that? Because the fourth dimension is right here. But yeah, another good way to explain the fourth dimension, like, the fourth dimension is when you realize, oh shit. I'm much more than this physical body. Like, I'm actually a spirit inside the body. And I'm just having an experience. I'm just having a human experience. But I'm what I truly am, at my essence, is a spirit, a soul. You feel me? And that in itself is eternal. That's, that's when you realize that. And what can cause that red pill rage is when you realize that. And then you start to see how certain shit within this matrix were set up so that you don't realize that. You start to realize, bro, there's so much more shit that I should know about myself, but I don't because these niggas have the information, bro. And who are these niggas? <laughs> the Illuminati, bro. bro. The word Illuminati literally means like hidden light, hidden information. That is the sole reason these niggas exist, bro. They have our, our true, the true information of who we truly are. They got it. 
And I, I personally believe that the reason why people like me and thousands of others are able to figure this out and give y'all information is that, like, bro, we're messengers, bro. I believe messengers get sent to earth to try to wake people up and get people to realize what we truly are. You feel me? So, yeah, that's, that's one of the good ways I could describe the fourth dimension. Now, the fifth dimension. <clears throat> okay. Now, in my true light being video, when I said that I just, I, I went from the third dimension to the fifth dimension, consciously, that was cap. That was cap. That, that, that wasn't so. Because unless you just like that, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, there's no way you can just shift from the third to the fifth dimension. I, I went from the third to the fourth you know what I'm saying? I, I started to realize that I'm so much more than this physical body. You feel me? Now, to shift to the fifth dimension, that takes time. Like, when you start to reach to the fifth dimension, that's when you become people like Buddha. That's when you become a Christ consciousness. That's when you become Alan Watts. I don't know if y'all know who Alan Watts is, but if you don't, I encourage you to go watch some of his lectures. This man truly helped me understand spirituality. That's when you become like, basically shifting to the fifth dimension. That's when you know your physical being inside, you, your spiritual being, excuse me, inside a physical body. And you're able to like live, that's when you, and you're able to escape that red pill rage. You know what I'm saying? You're truly able to live like it. If that makes any sense. Shifting to the fifth dimension is when you start to realize, like, it's really when you start to become enlightened. Going, shifting to the fourth dimension is one thing, but when you go from the fourth to the fifth dimension, that's when you start to reach enlightenment. You know what I'm saying? You start to get information about being a spiritual being, having a human experience, so that you're able to live through your heart and not through hate. Get me? You know, like shifting into the fifth dimension, you start to realize that we're all connected. You know what I'm saying? All of us at once. Like, man, just like two weeks ago, I want to say, I think it was about two or three weeks ago, I went to Walmart. And when I was walking in the store, I found I found a wallet on the ground. I found a wallet on the ground when I was walking into the store. It was out in the parking lot. So I, I picked it up. You know what I'm saying? And I took it to the bathroom and I looked inside of it. That shit had like $50 in it. <laughs> that shit had like $50 in it. And I didn't have a job at the time. And I only had, I'm going to be honest with y'all, bro. I only had like $20 to my name at that time. So like, I really needed that $50. You know what I mean? And I'm going to be honest with y'all, bro. I thought about taking that shit, bro. I really could have taken it, left the wallet in the bathroom. And when nothing happened, nothing would have happened. You know what I'm saying? No one would have caught me. I could have walked out to Walmart with $50 and been off scotch-free. I was this close to taking the money. But what stopped me from taking the money is I thought to myself, man, you know, if I, if I really decide to take this person's money, I'm really just doing that to myself, bro. Because, like I just said, we're all connected. What you do when you think that you're hurting somebody else, like if I if you go up and punch somebody, and you think that's hurting them, it is hurting them, but it's gonna hurt you in return. Because guess what, karma is real. What you do with the energy you exert comes back to you like a boomerang, bro. That's why I didn't even want to do do it. Because after I thought that. I didn't want that energy to come back to me, bro. I knew that in some shape or form, what I did was going to come back and haunt me. So I just didn't even want that on my consciousness. So I gave the wallet to customer service. You know what I'm saying? I let them handle the situation. Hopefully, the, the true owner of the wallet found the, found the wallet with the money in it. You know what I'm saying? If they didn't, damn. But yeah, that right there, for me to do that... I had that that I had to be into a 5D consciousness in order to make a decision like that. 
Y'all get what I'm saying? Because, like, a person who's still living within the third dimension, seeing, just seeing money like that, bro. They, <laughs> a third dimensional motherfucker would have just took that money. Oh, money. Mm, I need that. They would have just ran off. You feel me? So it really took a lot out of me not to take that money because I really was, but I had to stop, sit back, and think about it first before I did it. You know what I mean? When people say that the 5D is going to merge with the 4D, I believe, like, I don't, I don't, when I said that we're going to become like beings, I didn't truly mean that, like, we're just going to shed our physical body and become a light being. That sounds so cool. And shit, who knows? That, that, it could happen. Honestly, can I say that I 100% know for sure what's going to happen come December? No. And can any other YouTuber tell you? Not even just a YouTuber. Can any other spiritually enlightened being tell you that they 100% know for sure what's going to happen? No. They can act like they know all they want. They can't tell you that they 100% for sure know this is going to happen. They can put on the facade. And that's cool. But like everything that people like myself and thousands of other messengers are telling y'all is solely off of intuition. Whether they want to admit it or not, it's solely off intuition, okay? It really is. I got to be honest with y'all. So you can either choose to believe it or choose not to believe it. No harm done. You feel me? But... Basically, when the 5D shifts with 3D, what I believe is really going to happen, I think it's going to be a conscious shift. That So, like, that consciousness that I had to come into before I had to decide to take the money out of that wallet, more and more people are going to come into that type of consciousness. More and more people are going to wake up and start realizing, that, yo, we're much more than this physical body. Now, when I say that we're going to become light beings, I don't truly mean that we're going to shed our bodies, but, like, we're still in the third dimension, but, like, at the same time, we are physical beings. So when we all come into that 5D consciousness all at once and we start realizing, yo, this ain't it, this ain't all reality has to offer, people are going to start diving into spirituality. You know what I mean? People, like... People are going to start looking into astral projection and shit like that. People are going to start becoming more fascinated with ghosts, aliens, and shit like that. So, like, that's what I mean. That we're, That's what I mean when we say, when I say that we're going to become light beings and we're going to find out the truth. Now, Mitchell, about the last part of your message, bro, when you said that you're white and Cuban, so you don't know if you're going to the same, bruh. Don't, 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 don't listen to people who tell you that if you don't have no melanin, you won't ascend, bro. Bro, there's black people, there's melanated people, excuse me, who don't have a soul. And there's white people who don't have a soul. There's Asians people who don't have a soul. Every, within every race, there are people who don't have a soul. Within every race, there are people who do. So if you righteous, you know what I mean? No one's perfect, bro, but if you, if you're righteous then you have a soul. If you dream, you have a soul. You feel me? So don't 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 give in to that, bro. You know what I'm saying? I know I kind of, me and Vonsu cuts videos, the content we put out is kind of similar. You know what I mean? But I'm not going to sit here and tell all white people that they, don't, that they don't have a soul because it's not true. It just, it just ain't true. But yeah, Mitchell, I hope this video is kind of helpful for you. I hope it helped you gain understanding and I hope you see this. And if it doesn't, Hit me up again, and like you said, we can chop it up. You know what I'm saying? Just give me a number, and I can try, try harder to get you to understand this. But, yeah, man, my name is Helby. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe.